Good morning and welcome to the prophetic word of the day. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As you are jumping on, go ahead and tell us hello. Tell us that you have joined in with us. We are so happy that you, and honored that you have decided to spend your morning with us on the prophetic word of the day. Good morning, April. Hello, P-Wad. Chris wants me to call it the P-Wad. The P-Wad. Denise, good morning. Welcome to the You're P-Wad. The table. I don't mean to be shaking the table. As you are jumping on, uh, again, share and tag this. I'm going to share this also. And before I do, yesterday, if you saw our personal page, and if you're not following us on our personal page, you need to go follow us on our personal page. It's hilarious. Our life journey is sometimes just hilarious. It's Chris Davy Brooks. So follow us on all the platforms. Listen, you need to tell them uh, what you did yesterday. Well, so I can take some time to share this. Everywhere. Well, we woke up this morning and we did a leg workout, which you need to be paying attention because soon you're going to be seeing a new Instagram page coming out. And this it's is, a fitness motivation. It's a page. fitness motivation page that me and um, my buddy Daniel Atkins will be doing. He's like a spiritual son, as well as Grant, and there we'll all be doing this and. Um, Showing you guys just some different stuff. So anyway, that's coming up. But anyway, we did leg workout yesterday, and then we left and went to a place called the Blue Hole. Have you, if you live in the Chattanooga area and you've ever been to the Blue Hole, let us know. It's it's a natural spring fall. Uh, anyway, so what normally walking to this place takes you about 10, 15 minutes took mm. us an hour because the rain was so bad and it was flooded and it took us 25 minutes just to cross the but river. But didn't you do that to us one time about no, five years ago? No, it was somewhere ago. different. It was a different track. Uh, and this time though, we were on the trail, but it took longer because where the water's normally at your ankles, it was up to your waist. And we were having to hold each other and hold stuff over our heads just to get back there. Look, but it was awesome. Anyway. Look, let me tell you, Chris likes to go on the roads less traveled. I yeah. told him, I told him, I said, there's the, there's the area. We just got to cross over right there. And he said, no, 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 no. We're going to walk up this mountain. You're not walking up a mountain anyway. You are trekking up a mountain. You're trekking. Okay. Yeah. We were not in the shoes or in the get up for this. I had, a cute, I had a cute little beach bag. I was planning on just chilling. No. Then you hiked. tried to drown me. Okay. For the record, the waves that were going how fast yesterday? You tried to drown me. Um, it was rapids. Like. Let's just say it was rapids. But, I, I mean. It, it would have been a category three rapid if we were. We waited yeah. Through I mean, it was a category three rapid yesterday. Literally, I had both feet stuck on the rocks and was pinned back like this. Y'all. And was not moving because the waves were coming. I mean, it was crazy. I was praying in the Holy Ghost. I just, I just knew. And when I said a while ago I need alcohol, go. it's because I need it for my ears because my ears are still stopped up. So I need to get some alcohol. Rubbing right alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. <laughs> just for the record. Okay. As you're jumping on, share Tag. Tell them we're ready for the PWA this morning. We don't we don't like that because people on YouTube don't know what this is. So just stop. Yeah, they do. But but we're not doing that on YouTube. They don't have all those buttons on the YouTube. Are you channel. ready for the PWA? <laughs> tell me over here. Stop. So that let you're me ready tell for you the guys. PWA this morning and we're gonna get right into it. Well, I want to let you guys know as you're jumping on, you can help us boost the algorithm by putting emojis, by putting a bunch of comments, by sharing this and reposting this. And so that, so that ready, way ready, we ready, can Wiley. stop censorship. So right. help us out. Also, real quick, for those of you that have jumped on, um, if you have not went to our website yet and become a partner of this assignment, we need for you to join with us. ChrisBrooksMinistries.com. I'm about to share all that information here. We have our first ever partner gathering coming up July 23rd and 24th that is going to be exclusive for partners only. For I know, I've got to finish telling them. That's going to be for partners only. Um, there are going to be private emails that are going to be sent out this week, oh. so you're going to want to become a partner this week. Go to Matthew chapter. 13 in the New Living Translation 44 through 46. Matthew 13 44 through 46. Everybody said that they were ready, so I think you could turn to Matthew very quickly if you got your Bible and you pad your pen. So here we go. Woo! Here we go. Uh, Matthew 13 44 through 46 says, The kingdom of heaven is like. All right, we'll find out what it's like. It's like a, cher a treasure that a man discovered hidden in a field. In his excitement, he hid it again. So he found a treasure 
then went and hid it, then sold everything he owned to get money to buy the field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant on the lookout for choice pearls. When he discovered a pearl of great value, he sold everything that he owed and or owned and he bought it. All right, here we go. So, studying the kingdom of heaven, we understand that the kingdom of heaven is a treasure. Yes. Any, a treasure is this, anything or person that greatly valued at a high price. Mm -hmm. Means that you have put this at a high price in your life and that high price is now the thing that you value the most or that treasure is the thing that you value the most with the high price. It could also be called priceless to you. So you cannot put a price on said item that is priceless. You just have to come up with what it is that you think it is. This is the kingdom. Mm -hmm. For there's no price, watch this, the kingdom, no price is high enough. Yes. The ultimate price for the kingdom was Jesus. He paid the ultimate price. You and I also paid that same price with our lives, laying them down. We're not dying, but we're dying to the old things, and we'll get into that. Jesus says this. Once you have discovered the kingdom, okay? Mm -hmm. So, discovering the kingdom means this. You have to first be looking for the kingdom. That's so good. You don't discover something. I mean, yeah, maybe you just happenstancely walk upon something. Oh, my yes. gosh, look what I found. But those that really discover treasure are those that are looking. Those yes. that are out there pursuing, those that are going after it. it says that once you find that precious item mm -hmm. that is a treasure and is priceless to you, it says that this man found it mm -hmm. and then went and hid it. Wow. So he found something that was priceless to him. He found his treasure, took that treasure and went and hid it in a field. The man hid the treasure in a field, but then went and bought the field, meaning this, that he didn't own the field. Okay. He found something, went and hid it in somebody else's field, mm -hmm. and then had to sell everything he owned to go and purchase the field just to get or keep the treasure that he found. Mm -hmm. All right? He sold everything just to have the treasure. This is the picture of 100% all in all in for Jesus. Yes. Now, some people be, oh, yeah, we understand that. We know that. Okay. Are you willing to sell it all? Come on. Are you willing to give it all up? Willing to do whatever it takes? So this good. man found the treasure, hid the treasure, and said, I just found what I want. I'm all I in. I hid it. Because I don't want to lose it. Mm -hmm. But now I'm willing to sell everything I have just to buy the field. Now watch this. Buying the field was not to have the field. It was to keep the treasure hidden. Yes. The field was bought so that the treasure stayed hid. Mm -hmm. Not to go dig up the treasure. The yes. treasure stayed buried. Mm -hmm. See, the treasure has to stay buried in here. Okay, let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Now we have a merchant. The merchant is searching for pearls. Yeah. When he discovered the pearl, he so he sold everything that he owned mm -hmm. and bought the pearl. Now here's my question. If he found the pearl, why did he have to sell things to go buy the pearl? Stop thinking about it. He found the pearl and he said he went and sold everything to buy the pearl. Here's the thing, it wasn't his. Okay. What he found was in the possession of someone else. Mm -hmm. so, so stop and think about this. What Jesus is offering in a treasure, in a pearl, in the priceless item of the kingdom, it's his, but it's gonna cost you something in order to attain it. Uh huh. The pearl was Jesus. The pearl, let's say that, is Jesus. So it's going to cost you something in order to obtain the pearl. Let's, show, let's go a little deeper. First Chronicles 21, 
23 through 24. 1 Chronicles 21, 23 through 24. David has sinned, and there is now a plague in the land. Okay? David sinned. There's a plague in the land. The angel of the Lord came to David and told him to offer a sacrifice to lift the plague. So David goes to Ornan, and he goes to Ornan and tells Ornan what's going on and says that I need your threshing floor to make your threshing floor for wheat and turn that into an altar for a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So in verse 23, it says, but Ornan said to David, take it to yourself and let my Lord, the King do whatever is good in his eyes. Look, I also give you the oxen. So I'm going to give you the threshing floor and the oxen for your burnt offerings. I'm going to give you the threshing implements for the wood, the wheat for the grain offering. I give it all to you. Then King David said this. He said, no, for I will surely buy it. I will surely buy it for the full price, for I will not take what is yours for the Lord, nor offer burnt offerings I love this part. with that which cost me nothing. And we there's there's kind of a comment. Do you have the skin? Do you have any skin, skin in, in the, the game? game? Now watch this. Like what, what does it cost you? Here's what you? if David would have taken mm -hmm. from Ornan, taken the threshing floor, taken everything, did it, and then sacrificed it, it would have been Ornan's sacrifice yes. and not David's. Because it David didn't own it. It wasn't his. So he said, I will buy it. Mm -hmm. So now it's mine. And now what I just bought, I will sacrifice to the Lord. Yes. Hello? So I'm going to sacrifice what I just, because now it's in my possession. Now it's mine. Yes. Jesus is offering the kingdom of heaven. And he says this, through the, far, through, through the man who bought the field and the man who bought the pearl, both of them sold everything to achieve the kingdom, have the kingdom. It will cost you something. Yes. What is the price on the kingdom? Priceless meaning everything. Yes. It is priceless meaning it will cost you everything. Everything. All right. I love what you said the other day, and I don't know if you're going to go into this, but whatever it costs you, he's willing to give you more back. Yeah, he's willing to give it back to you. Here, here's yeah. the thing, though. Well, and when we say give back, he's not giving back the old lifestyle. No. But hear me when I say this, that what you give, what you sacrifice, what you're you gonna get lay upon the altar yes. only comes with the increase of the kingdom. Everything that doesn't get laid on the altar and doesn't yes. pay the full price uh -huh. doesn't, watch this. That'll cost you too, but you something don't, different. You don't get halfway kingdom. Yes. You get nothing. Yeah, come on. So he's saying here, it's all or nothing. Or nothing. It's not halfway. It's not a little bit. Come on now. It's, they sold everything. Not halfway. To have the money. Yes. To buy the whole thing. Because they said, I found what is most precious to me. Yeah. And I will do whatever it takes to have it all. Are you halfway in it, allowing other people... Now, wait a minute. Nothing wrong with people giving to you. Mm -hmm. Nothing at all. But once they give to you, do you take ownership? And then use that as a sacrifice. Are you 100%? So good. That's what the Lord said. Are you 100% with me? I can tell you if you're 100% and have you given all in the same manner that I gave all. Yes. 
if you're wondering why you're not receiving full yes. kingdom benefits that the word says are poured out daily, ask yourself, do a self-evaluation, ask Holy Spirit, what have I not given 100% to buy in to the kingdom and say, I'm done with everything else? You got to ask yourself that. What have I not given 100%? What have I not given to be 100% in order to receive 100% of the benefits of the kingdom of heaven That's here so on good. Watch this, here on earth. Yes. Here on earth. He hid the treasure. He hid that treasure. Both of them. Cuz they said I'm not going to let anybody rob it from me. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I love that. We have to ask ourselves the question, what have I not given a hundred percent to? Yeah, my dogs are going bananas no, over here. Each other up. Forgive us. We just had a prayer request that came in. Um, her name's Heather Davis. She said, Can you please pray for me and my family? Their son, Gabe, was killed in a motorcycle accident about three weeks ago. Jesus. Um, and they're having the celebration of life this coming Saturday. Heather, we just yeah. pray the peace of God over you, your husband, yeah. your and entire your entire family. family. Knowing that what the enemy has intended for harm over this situation, God will use this to turn around for his glory. And, and his what kingdom. you said, a uh, home going. I love that, that means that we know your son knew Jesus. Yes. It's a celebration. We know it was early. But it is still a celebration that he is in the hands of Jesus. Yes. And we declare right now that you and your family and those of your family members that may not yes. know Christ will come to know Christ in the manner of understanding that yes. by knowing the Lord, they will get to see him again. Amen. So we declare that blessing over you today in the name of Jesus. Yes, amen, amen. If you have any other prayer requests, um, feel free to inbox them or post them here in the comments. We're going to be checking back throughout the day. Um, and yes, she said he is at home. Amen. Amen. Um, we'll be checking back throughout the day and praying with you and agreeing with you. We want to mix our faith with you um, to believe on your behalf. Also, we have just posted the link up here. I'm going to do it one more time, just so that way it can be pinned up there. Go to our website, chrisbrooksministries.com, and partner with this kingdom assignment. Ask the Holy Spirit what it is, the amount that it is that you are to do to join with this to see lives impacted all Amen. over the globe. <clears throat> there is an exclusive partner gathering that's coming up in July. Um, that is going to be for active partners only. Um, if you have been a partner in the past, but you have um, let your partnership go and you're not an active partner, now's the time to rejoin. Yes. If you've never become a partner, now is the time to join. And for those of you that are currently partnering, thank you very much. Um, because we know that your prayers and your financial support support are shifting lives all across the nation. Mm -hmm. And we can't thank you enough. But again, this partner um, exclusive gathering is coming up July 23rd and 24th. All of that information and RSVP details are going to be emailed today and tomorrow. And so the RSVPs are gonna be happening in the next couple of weeks. So you're gonna want to join and become a partner. Amen. All right, today we declare the Lord bless you, yes. keep you, his face shine upon you. We declare today that you're 100%. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. We love you. See you tomorrow, 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. Yes. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Love you guys. See you in the morning.